Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to the ninth episode of my FIFA 17 Scaling to Glory. So in this video, you're going to see me selling some bronze players, doing a bit of trading, and then mainly playing a few matches. So to start off with, here are a few players that I listed up using the bronze pack method, and most of them went on to sell, and then I went and relisted all the players who didn't sell. So the first question today comes from Footwatch Football, and he asked me, what editing software do you use? So I actually use Lightworks, it's a free editing software, you can get it for Mac and PC, so it's completely free, it's not that good to be honest, but um, you know, it's the best thing I can use at the moment, because I have a really bad laptop, and it's the only editing software it can run. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend to you for your guys to go and pick it up, because you know it's pretty hard to learn as well, um, it took me about probably about a month to get used to it but once you get used to it it's pretty easy to use but you know it always seems to crash and it's just not very good in general so hopefully in a few weeks or a few months I'm going to be getting a new PC what can hopefully run you know Sony Vegas because in my opinion um, I've used at school before and it is just one of the best if not the best editing software out there so yeah if I'd recommend any editing software to you guys it would definitely be Sony Vegas so the next question comes from um, Adrian Nilsson and he asks, do you find it hard to combine YouTube with school? And um, not really to be honest, um, the majority of the homework I do get from school is usually on the weekends and you know, usually get it out of the way, you know, like the first thing when I get home, just to get it out of the way so we can have a nice relaxing weekend and then you know, f through the week, you know, I don't really seem to get maybe like one or two pieces but not that much, so yeah, I don't really find it that hard to be honest to combine school with YouTube and I'm actually in my last year even doing my GCSEs so yeah but I still say yeah I don't really find it hard to combine them both together so anyway guys now getting into the gameplay the aim of this episode was to try and get promoted um, actually win the title and as you'll see probably from the title of this video we do actually go and win the title so we get up to a really good start here in this match we'll go 2-0 off get it here with Aguero score a really nice goal there to make it 3-0 and then this guy does after, um, decide to go and rage quit after this replay of the goal, look at that, a really nice finish from Aguero, and his goal scoring record and assist record is honestly insane at the moment, in I think it's 21 matches, he's managed to score me like 26 goals and get like 5 assists, so he's got a very good goal to get, um, game to goal and assist contribution, so after that he goes and put ourselves on 18 points, and as you can see we do go and win the Division 7 title, and then after that I go and sell a few more players on in the club that I got from using the bronze pack method, so we're going to sell these um, three bronze cards on there, and then we're going to list up a few squad fitnesses, and all of them went on to sell for 1,300 coins. Then we're going to sell that Japanese guy there, and that English sent me there for some nice profit. So after doing that, guys, I decided to go straight into Division 6, I switch up the team, I go with the um, BPL hybrid team, and then again we go with our away kit there, the Chavez one from the Liga Nos. He goes with his Carl's Isle kit and a Carl's Isle badge. And now getting into his team, he has Inform Walcott, Callum Wilson at Camwatt. Personally, I wouldn't do because he's got very low pass knee, passing. And then he had Mane in the left mid position. So we start off here really good, doing some nice passing there. And then Lanzini runs through and goal and finesses it past the goalkeeper. And we are 1-0 up. Then from a corner here, our opponent takes a near post header. But luckily for us, Howard is there to save us. And Howard's actually one of those goalkeepers. He isn't used a lot this year. But he is very overpowered and very good. And I'm hoping to get his inform card very soon as well when we get the coins. So again, we get a really nice passing move here with our team. It goes through to Aguero. But as you can see, he was actually offside. Now, this clip here, after I've rendered, like... Because what I do, I render all the, like, clips together. Then I do the voiceover. So I actually realised I put that clip in before this clip. So now you'll see me score the second gold here. Um, it was a pretty nice goal to be honest, like we do a really nice skill run here with Balassi. Go for the Alaska shot, pass the goal, um, the player there, do a perfect ball flick. We're about to take the shot and then he decides to go and foul our Aguero. And of course Aguero is going to score the penalty and that's the goal to make it 2-0. I accidentally, you know, realised I got these two clips mixed up. But anyway, later on in the match here, we play the ball through to Aguero again and he finishes it on his left foot with a nice low driven shot past the goalie. And then later on in the match here, we do some really nice skill moves again. 
do that really nice combo there, um, the ball roll fake to the Okocha flick. We go and take the shot, and luckily for him, his goalie manages to save it. So Lanzini got man of the match that match with a 9.4 rating. We get 500 coins, and we got our first three points in Division 6. And I th think this is probably the best record I've had on any account so far. I think we're actually on like 31 wins, one draw, and one loss. What is honestly an insane record. Um, FIFA 15 for me was my best ever FIFA. And I think even on that, my record wasn't as good as this. So now getting into our next match here, we come up against this Newcastle fan. He has Inform Boodaboos, um, Braithway, who's actually a very good overpowered striker, Draxler in centre mid, and then he has the Plea from Nice. So again, early on in the match, we do a nice ball roll flick there with Corellio, do the pirate skill move, run into the box, um, go for the um, Balassi flick and then manage to smash it into the bottom left corner and actually that was Quadrado not Corillo. We switched the teams up this match, I decided to go my Calcio A squad instead of my BPL hybrid team. Um, so yeah, we get the ball here with Fernandez, play it through to Niang and then Niang finishes. And Niang is actually one of those really overpowered strikers who I definitely recommend to go and pick up. And after going 2-0 up, this guy does decide to rage quit and we get a very nice win. So yeah, he rage quit pretty early on in the match as well, as you can see. We get 241 get, uh, coins and then we get 6 points now in Division 6 already. So 2 wins out of 2 in Division 6. So after this, I decided to go out onto the transfer market and do some sniping. And we get an honestly an insane snipe here. We go and get this bronze man of the match card there for 1,100, um, 1,400 coins, and that's actually his min price. I think you can get him for. And then later on in the video, you will see that we do go and sell him on for some very nice profit. But at the time, I just go and place him on my transfer list. And then later on, we go and get this um, man of the match goalkeeper um, who got his card for I think it was the African Cup of Nations. Um, yeah, so anyway, go and get him for 9,100, and then that wasn't actually that good of a deal because this was late at night and his price did drop in the day. So I think I might lose a few coins on him when he eventually does sell. But as you can see there, we went to sell the IX Man of the Match card there for 6,800 coins, making a nice 5,000 coins profit. And then a few more of the bronze players as well did go on to sell that Russian League guy there, the Turkish League guy, the MLS guy, and the Japanese League guy. So anyway guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.